Oi, oi. I love Whitby. The legends, the folklore, the ghost stories. I'm going to tell you one that goes there, off that cliff. But I've got to get up there first. Let's do it, leaving this beautiful little spot by the harbour now. This is the 99 steps. Strangely, there isn't 99 steps. There are ghost stories here, but they're for another day. We need to get up there to the church. Let's go. St. Mary's Church, with the ruins of the abbey behind it, overlooks the entire Whitby town. This graveyard was a place that would see many boats drift ashore in shipwrecks. And when those sailors died, they are brought here in this graveyard. That's where the ghost story begins. The dead sailor's body would be put down into the grave, while the mourners stood either side, contemplating their life, some in floods of tears sobbing, others just stood deep in thought. Once that had happened, they stood back. They would suddenly notice a carriage, a funeral carriage, drawn by four jet black horses with a driver who some said had no face and others say were just covered in a black shroud, never lifting his head. Then people would come off the carriage, go to the grave and pull out the ghost of the sailor up from the grave and load it into the back of the cart. Legend states the cart would then shoot off this way towards these cliffs, plunging over the edge, down, down into the sea below, taking the sailor's soul back to the depths of the murky brine. It's a bit of a piss take to be honest, isn't it? Maybe that's why Jesus doesn't come back as well. I mean, imagine coming back and everyone's wearing crosses.